Now our Brooks Slyer dives into Rancho Cucamonga's rich past at one of the city's most historic homes. I'm Brooks Slyer here at the John Raines House, where visitors can get a glimpse of what life was like in the 1860s from one of Rancho Cucamonga's earliest influencers. To fully understand the historical significance of the John Raines House to Rancho Cucamonga, it's important to know the past of the land the house sits on. The Rancho Cucamonga was initially set up as grazing land for the Mission San Gabriel. So this plot of land in this area was set aside for animals to graze for the mission, which isn't too far away. And then the missions were secularized. And in 1839, the Mexican governor at the time granted the land to a man named Tiburcio Tapia, who was a merchant from Los Angeles. Not only did Tapia use the land for cattle grazing, he also planted a small vineyard. In 1839, Tapia and some of his associates set up some vineyards, and that's why they claim that it's the earliest um, commercial winery in California. It was Tapia's daughter who sold the land to John Raines. He served in the Mexican-American War, and then after the war, he became a cattle driver and traveled throughout the West and into and out of California several times, and eventually ended up settling in California, got married to Maria Merced Williams in 1856, then purchased this land in 1858. Since Maria Merced Williams was a wealthy heiress, Reigns was able to buy Rancho Cucamonga and co-own the Bella Union Hotel in Los Angeles. Now rich and politically influential, he decided to invest in the land. When John Reigns came and purchased the property, he planted an additional 160 acres on Rancho Cucamonga of vineyards to produce wine and brandy. And in 1860, Reigns built his one-of-a-kind home. The John Reigns house has a lot of features that make it special and unique. Um, it has fired brick, which were fired on site, and again, it's the first fire brick house in the county. Uh, the red clay on the site was used to make the bricks, and the roof actually was um, constructed with tar from the La Brea tar pit. The house also has an open flume, which is essentially a little channel that brings water in and brought water in from local springs. It, um, came from outside the house underneath the home and it cooled the home but it also irrigated the fields and the crops that were here. After its completion in 1861, the family moved into the home which consisted of a parlor for music and games, three bedrooms, a dining room, a kitchen, and a Padres room where priests could stay when they were traveling between the missions. Reigns only lived in the house for one year until he met his untimely death traveling to Los Angeles. He went missing and for 11 days they were looking for him. On the 11th day they found his body near San Dimas and he was murdered. His murder went unsolved. They never discovered who or more than one person probably murdered him but they never discovered who murdered him. Reigns' wife Maria continued to live in the home with their children and stayed there after remarrying. It's during this time that Maria helped start Rancho Cucamonga's first schoolhouse. The city and the Reigns family thought it was important to have a schoolhouse, and I'm sure other members of the community did as well. And the first school teacher here was Lizzie Wagner, and she taught a small group of students here in the home, including part of the Reigns family's children. Eventually, the house fell out of family ownership and belonged to several other individuals until the county took ownership. In 1971, there was a march by local students and a teacher. Uh, her name was Mrs. Strain, and they led a march to save the site. There was a bulldozer set to take down the home, and they really wanted to bring to light to the county that this was an important place to remain standing. And so uh, part of their efforts did help to make the county recognize that it's an important historical site and the county recognized its value as well. Today, visitors can tour the John Raines House Museum Tuesday through Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. When people come here, they can see that it's an important home. Its architectural style is different and it's one of the last remaining historical places in Rancho Cucamonga and it's essentially where it all started. For RC Spotlight, I'm Brooke Slyer.